All right, guys, welcome to this edition of Drone Camps Indoors. We're indoors here where there's no furniture and no one's home, so I am going to do a quick review and I'm going to show you a few things about this H35. This is the cheaper version of an Inductrix FPV or a Tiny Whoop. You can do this for under $50 with a transmitter. A little transmitter comes along with it. I've got my little box of goodies over here. This little transmitter. It does several different flight modes. It does fast and slow flight modes, and uh, it also does flips, which after you set it up like this, you might not want to do flips, but for the fun of it, you could if you wanted to. So it comes along with a little 150 milliamp battery, but what I did here was I modded it so that I could use it for a first person view FPV setup. Uh, this little camera on here, I have this little uh, outside outer shell that I took off the camera. This makes it a little lighter, and this is one of the cameras a lot of people have been using on their Tiny Whoop. It's a little FX798T, and I'll put a link down in the description below so you can check one of those out. They also have a cheaper version of this camera, which I'll also post, uh, and it's around the same weight. I believe it's around 4.5 grams, so super light. Take the case off of it and solder this right to where the battery connections are because this is going to be running off 3.7 volt and it will power this little micro cam. You can switch channels on there as well. So uh, I've got this all set up to go. I also took the uh, liberty to add a little micro style JST connector on here so I could use the same batteries that I use for my tiny whoop. Um, very, very nice. And by the way, guys, this is a rack and heli frame that I took an Inductrix FPV parts and it's a carbon and aluminum combo frame. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and fly this one for you. It's a lot of fun. So you can do Tiny Whoop or Inductrix FPV style racing for under $50. And this is really, really nice. So probably the cheapest way to get into this micro FPV racing available right here with the H35. So JJRC H35, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the goggles get my DVR recording. I'll plug in the quad. Here we go. You plug in the quad first. Make sure your battery is nice and centered up underneath there. Everything is the CG is spot on there. Go ahead and turn on my transmitter and I'll set this one to the side. The way you arm this is stick all the way up, stick down. You'll see the LED stop flashing and you can check your throttle. Looks like I'm good to go. So I'm going to check my goggles real quick, make sure that I see something here. Okay, so I'm going to start recording on my DVR so we can have some little in-flight video of our little flight test. And I've got a few of these other batteries here, some crazy ponies and a couple e-flights in here. So we'll go ahead and take off. And it does have trim on here, so if it floats one way or the other. You can trim it out. You can also get goggles for these now for a lot cheaper than you could a year, even a year ago. Now we can get goggles for around the $50 mark. JJRC also makes some goggles. So this is getting more affordable guys. And this is pretty fast even in that first mode. Now there's a button on the top left. If I press this button on the top left, now I'm gonna go into an even faster flight mode. So if you're racing, if you're using this to race, you can go quite a bit faster. I'm gonna come down to land, take back off. But you don't wanna run an external battery on this uh, quad. You wanna make sure that you run it powers straight through the board. Do your solder straight to the board. You want to make sure there's no heat or fans on while you're flying these because these really don't like fans at all. If you have a fan blowing in the house, it'll push it right to the floor. So you got to make sure that my heat is off when I fly these indoors. But a very cool looking quad for sure. Look at that. Look at it up close. You can get props on Amazon or on Gearbest pretty cheap for these. 
I have a lot of fun with my tiny woo frame. And also, uh, this frame is a little more durable than what we've seen with the Inductrix FPV frame. It's not quite as durable. It looks like I'm running out of battery here. I got a battery that's not holding a good charge, so I'm gonna go ahead and slap another battery on it for you guys. There we go. Let's put another battery in there. Now you're just gonna get a few minutes flight time out of these batteries, so um, fly it quick, guys. That's the thing about these little micros. They don't have a ton of flight time, mainly because the video system on board eats up a lot of your battery. And I'm pretty fast in that second flight mode. Not sure if it has a third, but I believe it does. It's even quicker. Oh, there's my first crash. So we'll check out the durability of this thing. And I don't see anything broken on here. Also for this flight, I did also uh, make it uh, quite a bit brighter on the camera so you can see a little better. There we go. I'll go ahead and take off again. But these are a lot of fun. We've, we've gone out to bars and flown. If, you've, if you're new to the channel, be sure to check out the Inductrix FPV review because I went out to a local bar and I flew with a bunch of guys and girls. We had a lot of fun with these. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Can't figure out which way I'm going. Crashes do happen, even when you don't have obstacles, but it's a lot easier if you have goggles on. A lot easier, and a lot more fun with goggles. So, get your goggles, guys, for sure. You wanna, you wanna fly this with goggles. I'm gonna take off from the counter here. My flight skills aren't so good today for some reason. There we go. Mainly because I'm doing this little guy line of sight. It's a lot easier to fly in the goggles. So much more fun. We'll try a 360 flip just for the fun of it. There's that 360 aversion they call it. Push and hold that right button. Loses a lot of altitude when you do that with the camera set up on here. But you can fly this one without the camera as well. So you get a little longer flight time without the camera on there. I'm crashing again. Where did I, where did I go? There I am. But get yourself a handful of batteries. You'll have a lot of fun with this. They are really, especially right now when it's, it's really, really windy and cold outside. You can check out on Facebook also. Look up the Tiny Whoop, um, the Tiny Whoop groups. There's a ton of activity going on on different mods and pop-ups for these different motors you can add on them. You can go really crazy with your little Tiny Whoop frame. This H35 is really capable. Even with this little cheap little transmitter it comes with. It's totally fine, and this battery's, this battery's on the way out too. But thanks again for hanging out with me, you guys. I have a ton more batteries to fly, uh, and I'll give you a close-up real quick of how I wired this all in. What I did was, I just, the battery, the mini micro JST wire comes and connects right here, and you have negative on the right side and positive on the left side and then you power your camera on the same connector there. And that's the battery terminal on the back of this H. Um, it's actually H36, not H35. So that's pretty much it, you guys. And then you can fly your traditional uh, 1S batteries on there. Their 1S, uh, this is a, a little bigger than what actually comes with it. This was a crazy pony 220 milliamps. So. You can find those on Amazon in four packs. So anyway, thanks again for hanging out. This has been the uh, JJ Pro H36. Thanks again. We'll see you on the next one.